Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Mateo, also known as cleanyourmagic.co online. And we're back with another video. This one is going to be a little bit different than my usual because I believe a couple weeks ago, I think around the time that I did my last vlog, I did a poll. Also, hopefully it's not super, it's really windy outside and hopefully you guys don't have to hear it. But anywho, <laughs> back on topic. Um, a couple weeks ago, I put out a poll asking what kind of video you, you guys wanted to see next on Instagram, whether it was going to be another Taiwan vlog or it was going to be um, what I invested my, <laughs> my stimulus check in. So for those of you who don't know or are not in America, um, when was it? It was April. So I believe March we received a new stimulus check, or most people did, and I believe it was $1,400. Yeah, it was a $1,400 check um, for direct deposit, and people were curious why I invested my money in, because for those of you who don't know, aside from coaching, I do um, Forex as well as crypto investing and trading. Um, and I think it's so much fun. Um, and so this time around, when I did get my stimulus check, I wanted to make sure that I was investing in something long term so that, you know, my money would grow for me. And so, yeah. So these investments are not just including like just, you know, any sort of stocks, um, crypto, Forex, any sort of like investment, financial investment related things. Um, when I talk about investments, these are also investments within myself. So they, these will be lifestyle related, they will be business related, they will be self-improvement related. So yeah, let's just dive in. And so let's get started. So I'm just looking down here because I have um, my list on my iPad. Um, so yeah, for first of my investments that I made, and like I said, it's fourteen hundred total. Um, I actually don't think I listed fourteen hundred total here. I only did thirteen eighty one. You guys will see this on the screen as we go through it. Um, but the first thing I invested in is a one on one mentor or a coach. So y'all know that I'm a coach myself. I am a purpose and business coach now. I've decided to shift into that. That's something you can t definitely check into my Instagram and I go all in depth on this. Um, but yeah, I wanted to hire my own coach again. It had been several months already since I haven't had a coach and I'm not saying like I need one per se. It's more so just that I find myself to grow a lot when I do have my own mentor that can support me and I can recalibrate my energy to someone who is doing the things that I want to do. So when it comes to that, I put down a, I don't want to say down payment, basically the way that I broke down my own payment system with her was to have a large lump sum in the beginning and then I will have monthly recurring payments at a lower rate. Um, just because I was like, you know what, why not? It's just easier to do it that way than having to have larger sums every month or longer periods so i just wanted to since i had the money to invest in myself i decided to do that so i put in 700 dollars up front um and then every month afterwards i believe it's around 300 something for a couple months so that's the first thing i invested in myself in the next thing i invested myself in myself with is a <laughs> workout set and so i know this girl actually she's a really good friend of one of my cousins she started her own luxury fitness workout apparel and so her her brand is called simply evolve and so i've been eyeing one of her sets for some time now um and i will share a, a picture of me wearing it okay fam i wasn't even going to share this tonight because i'm so bloated like i had the bombest dinner but <laughs> this is so cute like i wanted to share it because even though i'm super super bloated right now from dinner i still feel like really comfortable like i don't feel like i'm getting like squished into my leggings so yeah 
one, I really like the outfit. I've been really eyeing, I've been really into tie-dye as of lately of wanting to put it into my apparel or putting it into my closet more. I just think it's a fun, cute thing. But I wanted to also support local business, support local women. And so I decided to buy a set from her and like, it is a luxury brand, like I said. So it was a little bit more than I usually spend on um, apparel or just like workout or clothing. So that set was $88 the numbers <laughs> and so that's the second thing that i invested in um the third thing that i decided to invest in is actually there are a couple organizations but if y'all don't know what's been going on in the world right now or as of lately more and more is you know bringing awareness to stopping an like anti-asian hate and so I wanted to contribute because I had the money to invest, so I decided to invest in a handful of anti-Asian um, hate organizations. And so I can list them here on which ones I invested it in, but I just put down $100 flat for, um, a f mm, I think it was like three or four of them. I can't remember off the top of my head, um, but I will list them here. <laughs> um, and yeah. So that's that. The next thing is also more of a lifestyle investment, which was getting a car wash. <laughs> Look, it has been snowy in New England and it finally has been become spring. And so I finally decided to just go and get a car wash to clean off my car. For those of you who don't know, and when it comes to snow, salt gets stuck under the tires and un in the undercarriage of the cars. So it's really important to get a car wash um, to get that out. Otherwise, you can cause serious damage to the car. So yeah, that's the fourth one. The next one, the fifth thing that I invested in is another lifestyle related thing, which is a 90 day prosperity challenge. So one of my mentors and one of my amazing ride or die business besties um, was doing a 90 day um, prosperity challenge. And so this is, excuse me, I have done one of her challenges before. It's actually, I think it was a 40 day challenge last time. Um, and it basically is work. It's basically being together with a group of people and doing a repetitive chant for X amount of days. And so this one depend was particularly 90 days long. And it's been day 17 as of today when I recorded this. And yeah, it's been really, really potent. Like, I have never been into chanting. I've never been into like, rep like doing things like this on a like, as a challenge for X amount of days straight. And the fact that I did 40 days straight last time was pretty amazing. And so I really wanted to challenge myself into this. It's all, it really is like a meditative practice. Um, and it's been really, really helpful for me. I think it's really brought me and brought me into a lot of awareness around abundance and around what is it that I'm calling in and also really reminding myself to be present. Um, more and more every day. I think it's really beautiful to set that intention. And so I've been really enjoying that so far. Um, and <laughs> the next thing that I invested in is ColourPop items. So if y'all don't know what color, <laughs> um, so yeah. Oh wait, the last one was $44. Um, but yeah, the next thing I invested in was some ColourPop makeup items. And so, I am not very much into makeup like I'm wearing it right now as you can probably tell but honestly I really could care less about makeup it's just a item that gets used up I don't really find that much value in it but obviously I do want to have a decent appearance when I show up on camera so I do have a bit of I I did need a bit of makeup because one I know <laughs> my mom wanted me to get some for her um, and so I was like, you know what? I might as well get some for myself too because all my makeup is like over two years old because last year I bought zero makeup because COVID. Ain't nobody wearing makeup. <laughs> At least for me, I, I wasn't wearing significant amount of makeup anymore because I was at home. I work at home and I mainly only wear makeup when I'm showing up live. Like I'm doing some sort of live masterclass or I'm doing a YouTube channel or YouTube video. Um, 
but yeah otherwise on the days that i'm just working behind the scenes like i don't really wear makeup and so i really wanted to step up my makeup because it's really not good for your skin to be wearing like older makeup in general um bacteria can grow and i was starting to notice like the the texture of the makeup was not holding as well as it used to um and that kind of stuff so i decided to just invest in that um so yeah um actually i can show you which ones i ordered all right we're back so here are the items that i got from ColourPop. i bought four items so they're all face related obviously but um the first one that i got was this pretty fresh hyaluronic hydrating foundation in shade 105n um, medium 105n so this is actually a little too dark for my skin tone i don't know if y'all can see it i'm gonna try and focus it you know how or maybe not <laughs> I can't get it to focus but anywho there we go this is how we get there so this is the bottle it's actually a shade too dark for me so this is probably going to be the color I use during the summertime um, the next item that I got was a concealer which is the ColourPop no filter concealer in medium 28 now this is the one I usually use and I actually just ran out of so That's the next item. After that, I got the No Filter Loose Setting Powder in Translucent um, as, yeah, just a setting powder because I haven't had one in a while and I was starting to notice, um, especially under my eyes, um, when it wasn't set, like a lot of times it would just fall off. <laughs> long story short and the last but not least the thing that i really really was excited about getting was the sailor moon collaboration lip gloss which is literally in sailor moon so it's super cute um it's like a peachy gloss and it's pretty sheer i love it it has like a little um brush applicator and um it tastes like vanilla and it just like <laughs> it brings me back to those like days when i used to have the what's it called the lip smacker um lip gloss i always got the vanilla cupcake flavor or whatever and it really just reminded me of that it was really nostalgic for me so and it's not like mega sticky or anything like that but it's cute it's light it's sheer ain't she cute Anywho, um, so those are the main items that I invested in. These were like physical things. And now the last two are actually things, or actually investments that I have made, um, mainly in crypto. Because like I said, I have been learning about crypto and Forex trading since Christmas time. And with the, just with like seeing how things are going with crypto, I was just like, let's do it so um the first of the cryptos that i am i only invested in two the first one being ethereum so around this time ethereum went and dipped quite a bit and so i decided to invest 200 dollars into it um and then the next thing that i also invested was actually also 200 dollars of ethereum that was then converted into omi um i will say for First of all, I am not a financial strategist. I'm not here to give financial advice or any sort of thing related to crypto. Um, and I am part of I Am Academy and one of the um, one of the cryptos that was suggested to invest in was Omi. Um, and yeah, I, I did $200 worth of that. So that one's a newer coin that's come out if you want to learn more about it definitely do your research or even just like comment below let me know you're interested and we can like chat about it so yeah that's really it so this all of these things totaled up to 1300 no yeah 1381 dollars so i had a 19 dollars remaining i'm sure i spent it on something i just didn't record it because 
I didn't even think about it um, anymore because I had gone to that point. Um, so yeah, that's really it. And I also want to say I'm so sassy if I'm a little out of it right now. I feel like I'm not bringing as much energy as I usually am, mainly because I filmed a lot today. <laughs> I went live, I did a TikTok reel, or no, I did a Instagram reel, and now we're here doing YouTube. Today is Friday, so I feel like this is my end of the week fun time to just show up on camera and just record and then tomorrow I will probably edit this and get it up for y'all so it'll be up by Saturday and yeah I hope you enjoyed this I'm super curious what you think about the investments that I made in myself and in in crypto and any of the items and I'm curious too what you invested your um your stimulus check in because yeah I hope 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 <laughs> um you were able to invest it into something that was going to be long term because as much as i bought a good chunk of things i feel like majority of what i spent my stimulus check on was investing in myself or investing into some sort of long-term return and so i can't say it enough <laughs> um but definitely always be looking for a way to make your money work for you. So that's really all I have for this one. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. It will most likely be a Taiwan vlog this time around. Um, this one will be exciting. Like I think I kind of hinted at it during my last vlog. But this one, this next one is going to be exciting because I finally get my tripod slash selfie stick. So I can really start filming really amazing content like i have so many just sitting in my storage right now like all the footage is sitting in my storage my mom's like when are you gonna like why isn't this a vlog yet because <laughs> my mom watches my vlogs hey mom um she's like why aren't you like posting these yet i'm like there's a chronological order mom relax we're getting there we're getting there it's in the timeline <laughs> so okay for real for real that's it I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a great, beautiful day. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified on my next video and also like because it helps me in the algorithm. Okay, bye!